Hello, guys. Welcome to Lattes with Lindsay, episode three of season three. It's so exciting this far, and I'm so excited to have my next guest on because she's going to help us kind of understand and further understand self-love and self-growth and what she's really accomplished throughout her few years of really going through this journey and really finding her own self. So without further ado, how are you, Ariel? Hello, hello. How are you? I'm great today, and I'm so excited to be here, Lindsay. This is fantastic. (laughs) <laughs> well, I'm very happy to have you. I don't even feel like I've seen your face for so long. So it's wonderful to physically see you. It's awesome. <laughs> honestly, it's been a very long time. I honestly think like the last time would have been our vacation. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like, that was a long time ago. But thank you for having me today. <laughs> yes. Well, honestly, for everyone who doesn't know Ariel, she's wonderful. She's really launched a health and wellness um, kind of platform on social media where she's really opened up her story and really told people about her journey and what it's been like and like the true honest trials and tribulations she's been through. (laughs) And it really is really inspiring if you guys haven't uh, taken a peek. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Ariel? Absolutely. So my name is Ariel Kyla. Um, You can find me on social media under Instagram's Ariel Kyla. Um, I also have a YouTube channel, so that one is called Earl's World, Ariel Kyla, pretty much just where I show you like my day-to-day life and all the health and wellness things that I get up to and just being my true and authentic self and, you know, sharing just whatever I can with you guys to make your your day better. Um, I'm honestly just your average girl who's really obsessed with health (laughs) and wellness and fitness and just trying to be the best version of myself and just spread love and joy and happiness and make people's day. Like that's just my overall goal. Um, Yeah. Like I played basketball for 10 years, played basketball, college basketball at Georgian college. This is one of the main places where Lindsay and I actually met. So that's pretty cool. Um, I work full time as a disability support worker and I do have a business as well. So I'm a health and wellness, fitness and mindset coach. Um, and I'm just working on creating programs for mainly for women right now, just to like remodel their thinking and build confidence. I really work with the subconscious mind, limiting beliefs, creating new habits. Um, yeah, just creating a healthy community for us all to, you know, just live a happy lifestyle. <laughs> You know what? It's actually so relieving to hear that that's like someone who is in this world trying to push it because there is so much negativity and and some really hard, mean people out there. So I honestly appreciate you like even just like <laughs> trying to put it out there. I I, I appreciate that. <laughs> honestly, you're so right. Like our world is it's a wild world out there, and you know it just we all need each other. We need each other. You know I love it. I love bringing people oh. together to do that. So. Yeah, man. It's cute. It's fun to do. I like it. I like it. (laughs) So, you know, with your disability support work, like, you know, with that being your main full-time job, how do you find time to do all this, like with the health and wellness and, and be a mentor to many? Absolutely. So I am so grateful and I'm so lucky that my job actually gives me the opportunity to work on my business like I do a lot of night uh, shifts and stuff like that and I know it's like really hard but I'm just utilizing my time and you know working on my business when I can and just making sure like I implement time Um, you know just time management is very hard and that's one of the things that I've been really working on so just doing my best and you know I know that it's not always going to look the way I want it to look but just keep pushing and keep doing the best that I can yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's one thing that I think a lot of people should know about you is that you you've had a crazy journey. I mean, if you want to go back to <laughs> us in college, it was it was tough, man. We had a lot of um you know, interesting experiences. Let's leave it at that. And uh <laughs> you know, it was it was a it was a few years of of adventure. So, Most you know, it, going through that what was what was that like for you? Because I know you, you know, expressed that you've been going through like anxiety and depression through your college years. Like, how did you kind of steer your way through, you know, and staying positive through it? So, yeah, the way I just stayed positive, and I honestly have to give it to my friends, 
they are the ones who just were there to support me. They're the ones there to, you know, show me new things. Like one of my best friends, Lauren LaSalle, also an amazing massage therapist here in Barrie, Ontario. Um, she's the one who like got me, like I was, so one of the programs that I did, sorry, I'm just going to go back. So I did go to school for fitness and health promotion and social service work. So I was my first time in fitness and health promotion. Like I was really into fitness and like learning everything, but I just wasn't taking the action. I wasn't really implementing it into my life. And Lauren LaSalle, she's the one who just got me to the gym. She took me got me into like weight training just like random little things in the gym and that's how I truly found my passion and my love like that's really when it all started and um yeah like I really have to give it to my friends and just supporting me throughout my entire journey and you know making sure that I was okay when you know I was in my like low periods and yeah my friends were the most important thing did I also play basketball for Georgian college as well and just my teammates and just making sure that I was okay so I will I'll have Mm. to give it to my friends yeah they were amazing support (laughs) system that's for sure yeah well support is something that is so like it's not discussed as much as I wish it was because your environment and your support system is something that really does, like you've said, it it does really fuel the fire for many people. Like it really helps you get past that avenue of, of that brick wall or whatever it is. Sometimes they see a different perspective of you or make you more aware of who you are sometimes. And it's beautiful. It is really exciting. Absolutely. uh, And just like, you know, and I, the one thing I love about having really close knit friends who truly care about you is like, they'll, they'll put you in your place when it needs to be put, you know, when you need to be put in your place. And Mm -hmm. there's a lot of times (laughs) where I needed to be put in my place and like, you know, you need to relax, you need to get, you know, you need to get things done and stuff. So you know, it's important to have that in your life for sure. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's key. It's, it's <laughs> definitely a key to life. That's for sure. Absolutely. And, you know, talking, talking about routines, you know, what is your, you know, something that you've talked about so much on your um, social platform is routines and morning routines and all that stuff. So why don't you tell us how you kind of created those healthy habits in the morning and, and how you've kind of gone through them? Absolutely. So yeah, like you said, like a routine for me is so crucial. I live by my routine. I love my routine. <laughs> and like, I think it's so important to implement things that you love into your routine because I mean, if you don't love it, then you're not going to do it. Right. So my mm-hmm. morning routine honestly looks so different every single day, just because I work wonky hours all the time. But I am going to share three healthy habits that I don't know how to explain this. Like, it's like rules that I made for my life. Like these are things that are rules in my life that I just, I have to do because I know it makes my day better. And for me, I'm like, I'm the queen of my life and the queen deserves all these things. So, and that's the way (laughs) I look at it. I'm like, you need to get these things done so that you can be the best version of yourself. So yeah, I'm just going to share a couple of my healthy habits. So the first healthy habit that I really got into was as soon as I wake up in the morning, I chug a huge glass of lemon water. This honestly, like I, it cleans, like it cleanses your body. It's really good for like your, your uh, skin quality. Um, it, it's really good for your digestion, but not only that, it literally makes my soul feel like it's washed all negativity away from like the day before or anything that's going on like it literally just cleanses my body and I just feel so much better after I do it and like healthier I don't know it's strange but like I do I just feel so good <laughs> so I feel you man you know what I mean so um yeah drinking a huge glass like I never miss that ever in my entire life um and then <laughs> flossing and- you just can't have a sour lemon man I don't know if you've had that but I've I've done that and I've had a nasty lemon in there and it threw me off for a while <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay so it's even bad. Just, like a glass of water that's also fine as well you can just <laughs> water <laughs> but um yeah so like yeah I love it like before my coffee before my tea always water um and then I don't know if, if you know me on like a personal level you will know how important 
oral hygiene is for me. Like flossing and brushing my teeth is something that is a must because I I can't function. I feel like there's like bugs crawling in my teeth if I don't. Like I feel like the Grinch, you know, when you see the bugs in his teeth. Oh my. <laughs> like That's I such a visual. There. Thank you. <laughs> like even if before I go to bed, like if I don't floss my teeth before I go to bed, like I will lay there and just be like, oh my goodness, like this is terrible. Mm. So flossing and brushing my teeth is an absolute key and it just sets my day like I love it so much. It's just one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> Um, And then the third one that like I always do is I wake up and I take my dog for a walk. Just getting that fresh air. For me, sunlight is so important. I feel like, yeah, it just like, like just generates my soul. And yeah, so that's what we do. We go on, even if it's like a five, a five to any kind of walk, just like to get sunlight on my skin is just super important. So yeah, those are my three healthy habits that I do not miss every single day and I love well it. I don't blame you because like <laughs> I'm like my last my last episode was talking about just that because I find that um you know especially in the winter like vitamin d is something that we lack so bad like it's mm-hmm. you know and a lot of people unfortunately go through like november blues and they go through that whole experience and it's really hard because then you get a full like 360 of like way too excited December. <laughs> it's just, you know, like for some people it's, it's crazy how, it, how it just does flip. So, mm-hmm. you know, for you to say that you go for that walk is important regardless. Mm-hmm. Like I, I mean, if you do actually go for a walk every day, like through some of these storms, I applaud you, man. Like you Honestly, do what you got to do. You should see my jacket. Crazy. It is literally go straight to the floor. <laughs> I have these big boots. Like I'm telling you, my dog, he has his jacket on. We're bundled up. We're ready to go. We do not miss a walk. We love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's hilarious. Your dog must be so excited every morning. It's like today is going to be a good day. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's just so crucial, right? He's my best friend. And I, that's another one of my main reasons why I go for a walk is because like his health is so important to me as well. I I just like it's mandatory he needs to go for a walk because I need him here forever you know Mm -hmm. (laughs) what kind of dog is it I can't even is it a shih tzu he's a shih tzu poodle yeah shih tzu little nine pound thing he's the best Mm -hmm. (laughs) how'd you come up with the name um actually I used to be obsessed with the show um teen mom and Mm -hmm. mate I think her name was Macy she had a son named Bentley and then I just got the name from that. I just loved it. Oh, yeah. that is a nice name. Bentley. Yeah, Bentley. Oh, I have so many of my clients trying to pick. Man, COVID? Oh, it's be- I don't know. Just like that just reminds me of baby names. Like so many of my clients right now are expecting. I was going to say knocked up, but I feel like that's inappropriate. <laughs> so we're going to say expecting. Um, and like the names that are coming out of these people's mouths is crazy. Like, honestly, it's so there's some wild names out there, but you know, I love it. You do you, boo boo. Get mm-hmm. it done. Get some creative names. <laughs> you know, it's so much fun for me. Like my name is spelled so different and like people just comment on it all the time. So it's, I don't know. It's cool. I like it. I like it. How do people really butcher your name though? Oh, 100% all the time <laughs> they honestly sometimes don't even try to say it they're like they just look at me and they're like I'm like oh uh, it's Ariel like the little mermaid my mom just decided <laughs> to go with a wonky spelling like <laughs> <laughs> respect it please yeah, exactly. oh god that's funny. <laughs> call me Earl that's... if you need to that's it <laughs> Earl yeah well speaking of Earl like tell me about Earl's world so tell me about like how that even got created like why why the YouTube platform like why did you pick that like tell me about that so I always wanted to start a YouTube channel because people were always like I'd always share things on Instagram but people were always asking me to dive a little bit deeper and like just seeing exactly what I do in my day-to-day life and just things like that and I was so inspired by my favorite Instagram influencer if you don't already know who she is her name's Sarah's Day I love her so much (laughs) like everything about her I swear when I'm having like a down time in my life I will just binge watch all of her YouTube videos and magically I'm just cured and better and ready to go I love it 
so I just <laughs> yeah like I was just so inspired by everything that she does and so I was just like you know what and it took me don't, don't get me wrong it took me forever to start this I was so scared and nervous I didn't even know what to do but one day I was just <laughs> like you know what are you gonna regret it if you never do it and I was like yep so then I had to do it <laughs> so then I did it I and like I was it. happy about I it I like it yeah <laughs> and you like it? You enjoy doing it? I do. I do enjoy it. I do love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. And I love the camera <laughs> and talking in the camera and watching myself. So it's perfect. <laughs> It's good. I mean, I think it's, I think, like we said before, I think it's really important that people try and integrate as much positivity as they can in the world, just because if you can, why not? Exactly. You know? And like, that's one of my main goals in the, like, one of my main goals for even starting all of my platforms and stuff was if I can help one soul, my job is done. You know? Just one soul. Because you know what? When you help one soul, you're not just helping one soul because when you motivate and inspire one soul, they're then going to do things outside of their comfort zone and they're going to motivate other people. It's like a domino effect. And that's how you create Mm -hmm. the community you want. Yes, girl. Yes. There you go. (laughs) Yes. Little do you know, right? It's mm-hmm. like the the pre-planned steps for what you were going to create has created. Like, I mean, look at your friends, right? Like you have so many friends that are into different like, you know, cuisines. They're doing like food stuff. They're doing fitness stuff. Like, you know, their moms. I think that's wonderful. You have a lot of different like kind of avenues to inspire. That's dope. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. So I know. And that's, and that's the biggest thing, you know, when you're trying to create that healthy mindset to inspire others, but also inspire yourself. How do you find, you know, what is your reset for you? Like, what is something that can always be your go-to to to help you reset? One of my resets. So I was thinking about this and sometimes like, so like, I just, so we all have these periods where like, it's like a downtime, right? Like, and like, regardless of who you are, it's a part of the human experience. Like, it's just, Mm -hmm. will forever be a thing and one of my resets would just be taking time for myself and just yeah like implementing more things that I love and just like learning and just getting inspired like right now um on my social media platform like I did announce that you know I'm just going to take like a few weeks the month of December to just like like reset recollect myself to figure out like what I want to like present and share to everybody and you know and that mm-hmm. for me that's how I reset like I just need yeah time for myself and just doing the things that I love and putting me first you know me first always and mm-hmm. if I need to sleep extra maybe 16 or 24 hours and I'll just sleep it you know <laughs> like I need to cry <laughs> for like 10 hours and I just cry for 10 hours you just you have to like you know I really try to listen to my body and my soul and what I what like I'm asking for because that's something I find that we don't do enough you know we don't listen Mm -hmm. to what we really are truly asking for like deep down inside and that's like one of my main goals I've been working on is just listening to what I need and nurturing it like it's a child you know Mm. And how long did it take for you to do that, though? Because, you know, like, I I know that there's so many things on social media with ideas and suggestions and all that stuff. Like, everyone's journey, obviously, is so different. But how did you find that process? Like, was it a lot of forgiving and moving forward? Or did you find that you took, like, 10 steps back? Like, what was it like for you? You know what? Forgiveness and gratitude, I will have to, are the two biggest things that have literally changed my entire I don't even know like just like thought process just everything that I do like I was when I was younger like I was very angry and I was very sad and you know I had a lot of hate against like a lot of people um and then just yeah working on forgiving forgiving is so important because you release that power that you're giving to others and like you just like release it and like you take it back you know you take it back and they're no you like they're no longer I don't know like holy like holding you or like have that power against you like you just you take it back mm-hmm. you forgive them and you just move forward and that has 
opening up that space has allowed me to put my energy back into those like those spaces which has given me time to actually focus on myself right because I'm not thinking about all these negative Mm -hmm. things and hating all these people for no apparent reason (laughs) like it just like was so ridiculous and it took up so much of my time and that is just Mm -hmm. yeah I'm so grateful I'm so grateful that I was able to figure it out and forgive and love yeah and be grateful (laughs) <laughs> well, it's not easy. I can I can definitely attest to that. I mean, uh, even for myself, like I used to use journaling as my platform of like trying to get rid of whatever I'm feeling or whatever it is. But I found like when I looked back, when I was kind of like decluttering to move into my condo, it was an interesting kind of situation because it was exactly that. Like I had so much... Um, I want to say expression in those (laughs) journals. And it's like, I was like, man, I was so angry at those people. And, you know, like you, you learn to just hold it because unfortunately I feel like when we were in school or even before school, no one really taught us how to um, figure out a way to let it go or move forward because we didn't know how. So, you know, it (laughs) is pretty eventful to look back (laughs) <laughs> on the things that I was mad about or upset about or whatever, because it's like, how dumb was that? But in the moment, you were pissed. Like right? you were so mad, right? And it's it's really cool now that for the newer generations that there are so many different ways to let go and you know, journaling, painting, going to the water, um, you know, seeing friends, whatever it is, you know, healthy choices are probably the best. Um, mm-hmm. a lot of people Definitely. unfortunately like during this time of year, like with COVID and everything, I know some people are unfortunately drinking and stuff, which is fine. Uh, Mm -hmm. I love drinking, Um, but in moderation, (laughs) you know, so it's, you know, you got to kind of figure out what works for you. Yeah, absolutely. And like one of the things too, I just want to mention that I love to do to kind of like help release the forgiveness is and I know like it's a huge thing right now and like some people roll their eyes but like meditation it's super like for me it's mm. super key and it honestly like I do I don't anybody look up cord cutting meditation and these meditations I swear sometimes when I'm like like I still get fired up all the time like I still get angry I still get fired up and then I'm like girl what are you doing and I just sit there And I just imagine myself with all these cords attached to me. And at the end of them, like the negative thoughts that I have, and I freaking cut them. I cut them all. And then Mm. I freaking just pull them right out of me. And I release (laughs) them into like the universe, like whatever you want to call it. And like, I'm (laughs) telling you, it makes me, my soul feel so much better after. (laughs) Man, I could just imagine you in a fight, just closing your eyes and just cutting imaginary lines. It's like, what is this girl doing? (laughs) <laughs> yeah it's awesome just just one moment okay I just gotta cut the cords from you because I'm gonna oh, get real man. mad <laughs> oh <laughs> you don't want to see this <laughs> oh, it, no what man I I give you props for even imagining that stuff like when I was a kid my dad would tell me to like 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 when we went to bed he's like close your eyes you know, write like imaginarily, write everything on this piece of paper and make it a paper airplane and throw it away. And do you know like how pissed off I was when I went to bed sometimes? Because I'm like, that plane came back, dad. It's still very much in this room. You know what I mean? Like, I was pissed. So I I like to cut the cord. I like that one too, though. I do. Unfortunately, yours was Yeah, but it's still in your room sometimes. It is boomerang style. Yeah. So you wake up and you're like, oh, it. <laughs> oh, it's still, it's still in here. Like, it's That's still, so funny. It did, it did work sometimes, but yeah. like, you know, for like hockey games and stuff. But like, <laughs> my real problems. I know. It was like, you know, they're tough. I <laughs> yeah. know. It's hard sometimes, and sometimes I have to do it like a thousand times. It doesn't just go away the first time. So it's that's probably the mm-hmm. same thing. You know, some things are rooted a little bit deeper. Oh, girl. I swear, like, and I I never really believed in, I shouldn't say, well, I didn't, I didn't believe in the idea of like muscle memory. And when I started working on certain people who've had like severe traumas or whichever, 
I work on certain areas and they start crying or they tell me about that story or they say like, I, you can't treat me there or whatever it is. And I never really understood what that meant until, you know, circumstances happened. And I kind of went through that and it was just like, holy crap, like, you know, you do create that, that vision in your mind with a connection in your body. So like with meditating, it's, it is something that is very much talked about, but I think most of the people who actually do try meditation understand at a whole different level, how to calm yourself down or just Mm -hmm. have like you time for like, and it doesn't have to be like an hour of meditating. It can literally be like eight minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is. And it's it's just you time. That's the point. Yeah. Right. Even one minute. And like, I don't, I also want to mention too, like, I didn't just wake up and I was like, yeah, like, let's meditate. This is so (laughs) great. Like I can focus. That is not, it's still to this day. I've been really focusing on meditating for two years now. And I still sit there sometimes. Thoughts are racing. I'm agitated. All I want to do is like itch that itchy part on my face and like, Mm -hmm. you know, but it's the fact, the thing that, it has been beneficial like beneficial for me is the fact that I just keep trying I keep trying you know I'll do it for a minute and maybe the next day I get to do it for a minute and 30 seconds but I just never gave up like gave up on myself and I just kept trying and kept doing it and it just gets better over time Mm. still two years and it's still hard but I'm still working (laughs) on it so (laughs) but that's honestly that's the biggest thing though is that people unfortunately like you know, like the new year, new me thing is coming up. Like, I know that's going to come in hot with all the people who are going to do their fitness stuff and whatever. And they think COVID's going to end January 1st. Like fun fact, I don't think it's going anywhere soon. So, you know, yeah. start your goals tomorrow. Right. And I agree with you. Like mm-hmm. tomorrow is a new day. Literally an hour from now is a new opportunity. So why not mm-hmm. kind of go into that, that next step and, and, you know, become uncomfortable. I think, you know, for you, even with this journey, like you've had to go through some pretty uncomfortable wake up calls and all that stuff, you know, a it's, it's mm-hmm. a, it's a thing. So how do you find, mm-hmm. you know, with COVID and all that stuff, how has that affected your journey and your progress and all that kind of stuff? You know what? COVID has actually been pretty tough. I would say on me, like it hasn't really affected like my work, which has been super amazing and I'm so grateful for, but it has affected just like my healthy living and my healthy lifestyle because for me, I'm someone who does like to go to the gym quite often. I um, mean, it's such a huge part of what I do. And of course, with the gyms being closed, and let me tell you, I cried for two days straight when my gym closed and I wish I was over-exaggerating, but I'm not. Mm-hmm. I literally cried. <laughs> like, I'm so sad <laughs> about it. But it's just taking these like shitty moments and all the things that are like not going in your favor and just figuring out how to make it better, you know, instead of just leaving it. How, to, how are you going to make it better? What are you going to mm-hmm. do to like replace what you used to do with something new? And you know what? It's not going to look perfect and it's not going to look the same as it did before. So just being really kind with yourself and being patient. Mm-hmm. And just staying consistent and we'll get through it we're getting through it you know so that's just what I've been doing man that's like the the biggest thing is like they tease you and they're like oh guess what you're back you can do your goals and it's like pump fake we're gonna actually go back into like red zone but then like we may get a vaccine but now it's giving like skin rashes so like we may have to go back into like lockdown it's like oh my god So yeah, I I get it. And like, I don't, I, I tried for the first, like, I don't even know how many months we actually were in true lockdown, but like, uh, we did like workouts every morning. Like we created like a habit at home and did all this, like this crap. And then I realized like, I don't ever like working out at home because like you create a cozy atmosphere, man. It's just not something that Mm -hmm. I want to sweat in like at all. No, (laughs) I agree with you. Honestly, it's hard. So the gym is, is a huge gateway for so many people to, to really release so much crap. Like you want to talk about a great way to, to release anger or, you know, frustration or whatever, like 
just go and sweat it out and then go in the sauna and you will oh. be a whole new person with endorphins. Oh my God. <laughs> Honestly, I'm manifesting it right now. You just envision yourself. I'm envisioning myself just sweating so hard at the gym. I can't wait till it opens up mm-hmm. again. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know, I man. And you, oh man, you always used to kill me with your posts with your, your booty sweat. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, like- Honestly, I purposely <laughs> would wear like, gray leggings because people would look at me and be like you're disgusting but like when I looked at me I was like damn girl you work so hard look at that booty sweat I was like let's get it mm-hmm. let's get it I don't care what other people <laughs> say I loved it <laughs> it just made me laugh so hard because I've I've seen those people at the gym and I'm like oh my god I don't know if they know this but like their butt is like peeing right now <laughs> like, oh and like, like your crotch area and oh, it's like all way, yeah it's a good it's a really you know? good look like a good achievement but it's a really good look too yeah right I love it <laughs> oh man do you do you find that like your playlist is everything during your workout like do you find that you update it quite often or is there certain songs that are like your go-tos to just keep you uplifted you know this is actually a good question for me. I'm such a weird being, but I just have specific songs that fuel my soul and like, they'll make a comeback and then I'll make like a little bit, like I'll add like new songs and then I'll listen to like the five songs that I've been listening to for a year, still for a year, but just like add like two more and then like, I'll like take out a few and put some new ones in. Like I'm a big Justin Bieber fan, so anything Justin yes. Bieber. When we honestly, yes. when we first started our lockdown, my sister asked her. She, her and her girlfriend were like, "If I hear Justin Bieber one more time because <laughs> I'm working out at home, she's like, if I have to listen to Justin Bieber one more time, I am going to lose it." Oh, I was like, man. "I'm sorry, but he's like the one that gets me going." You know. What are your I top three so songs? Much. Um. Okay. I'll. I'll actually just show, I'll, I'll list the songs in my playlist right now. So my playlist, okay, I, I don't know, I'm going through something right now. It's called Love, okay? Okay. So I have Needed Me by Rihanna. Yes. Neither Do I by SPWO. I don't know who beat Jeremiah. Like, that song gets me feeling some type of way. Okay. Walking Trophy by Hood Celebrity. Girls, girls Need Love. Remix, Summer Walker. Yes. Um, yes. Slow Motion, Trey Song. Yep. Pony. By slow William Motion. Penny. Slow Motion gets you going at the gym? <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm telling you, I listen to some weird things. Like, I'm not kidding. Wow. That's, uh, like, just don't do pelvic hit thrusts <laughs> while listening to Slow Motion. Because that would make me feel really funny watching you do that at the gym. Oh, my God. <laughs> But yeah, those are like my top ones right now. Oh. I know. I just yeah, I love that's that. funny. That that th- I wasn't expecting that. Songs. I'm not gonna lie. That I was thinking like, <laughs> you know, you went on like the needing me type of thing. So I was thinking you're going like Desperado with Rihanna. Then like <laughs> you switched it up, girl. You, <laughs> I did. That's just like my playlist right now. You know, I will, I'm sure something new will come up soon. I love it. I love it. So are you, do you have Justin Bieber's mistletoe on repeat right now? Um, of course the Justin Bieber Christmas p- playlist. Like I have a Google home, so I just type in Justin Bieber Christmas and like, I'm good to go for the day. Yeah. yeah. Well, his, uh, his album does get the people going. I will thoroughly admit that. Yes. Yep. I love him. He's the best <sighs> human. Yes. Thank you, Justin oh, Bieber. Yes. If you hear this, <laughs> will you sponsor us? You know, we'll come I know, he's Canadian, so who knows? Oh, sure he, man, I, I would love to see his to house. Me, actually. <laughs> yeah, Haley, probably. I'm sure we'll get along with her, too. <laughs> <laughs> She'll teach us a model walk. Who knows? Right? Oh, I definitely need That's that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, speaking of impactful, I think it's you know, it's safe to say that you have impacted so many people's lives. I mean, it's, it's really cool to watch you grow and and really expand with everyone. I think it's, I think it's kind of fun. I think it's fun to watch your journey. Like you've had a, you just, I don't know, you just get the people going. So what is, you know, an example of someone who's contacted you and said like, Hey, you know, thank you. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I don't want to toot my horn, but there's quite a few, but there's, a couple of my favorite ones and 
I think one of like the biggest eye openers on like like yeah I know I motivate so many people but the biggest one was when I was at my friend's giving and we always go around the table and give gratitude and a couple of my friends dedicate like dedicated their gratitude towards me and like I don't think they realized how important and how much that meant to me but like I'm sitting there trying not to cry because like you don't sometimes you just don't think that people like you know believe in what you're saying or you know are really taking in what you're doing and saying and trying to help and all these random things like you know there's so many self-doubt like whatever and just hearing Mm -hmm. that from like my close-knit like friends and just like knowing that I helped with their self-love and just help them become the better version of themselves that was just so it was like the best thing like I I just felt so good inside and it was just so motivating and inspiring to just like keep doing what I'm doing it was like Mm -hmm. yeah that was like one of my favorite um just like favorite moments and then I also have one of one of the clients that I work with I'm telling you when she came to me I've never seen anything like it like she like was very negative towards like the world and herself and just didn't believe in her so like there's just you know she really was having like a tough time and after I worked with her I'm she has done a 180 degree turn and I am so proud of her I can't even believe it like she is so happy she messages me all the time and just tells me like you know, I'm so grateful for you, like her gratitude, like it's so amazing. She's lost 50 pounds. She's engaged. She's quit smoking for a year. She has done such an amazing 180 degree turn. I cannot even believe it. And I think this was one of my proudest moments as well, knowing that like what I teach actually works and like, it's just so yeah, it's so it's amazing. Like it's so cool and it's so amazing mm-hmm. and it's so amazing to work with these people who put in the work. Because if you don't put in the work, it's not going to work. Obviously, who put in the work mm-hmm. and actually try and come out with these like amazing results. Like it's wild. So that that's another amazing you know moment for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like the amazing individuals who I meet on social media, like. I'm telling you, it is one of my favorite places. I've met so many cool people, you know, and just the messaging me and letting, and you know, I'm being like, oh, you were gone for like three days, but like, I'm so glad that you're back on social media because I was being really hard on myself. But like today, I feel like I'm back. I, my self confidence is back. Like, I'm talking good about myself. And, and like, it's just like those little moments that like make me you know, just understand like what I'm doing is super important. And like, no matter what, like, I just can't stop because like I said, one soul, that's all it takes. So Mm -hmm. I think it's because you believe in yourself. I think that's the biggest thing that people see is that when they look at your social media, you believe what you're encompassing or recommending is something that you truly believe in. And I think that's, that speaks volumes. A lot of people are so easy to repost things or you know say they're doing self-care or whatever it is and I think unfortunately a lot of people forget what self-care is sometimes Mm -hmm. and that's okay because you know like we said we can start again whenever so I think it's I think it's beautiful and you know it is exciting and you know what is what is something you know you look forward to in the new year in regards to your business like what does the future look like the future guys look bright I am so (laughs) excited. I have so many cool and amazing ideas that are gonna like that I'm bringing to light that I'm bringing, you know, like my thoughts, it's just cool to see your thoughts and things in your brain come to real life. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, my the business, I don't I can't give too much away right now, because I am working really hard and still in the process of things. But the future looks super, super bright, and I cannot wait to share everything that I have with everybody. And yeah, just like, yeah, standing by something that I truly believe in, too, is also like, it's such an amazing and good feeling, and it makes me so proud because, like you said, like, I would never 
teach, share, or do anything that I don't do myself. Like everything that I do and teach, I've done first. I, I, I do it to make sure that like, you know, I'm not just throwing out garbage because we can all throw out, like we can all throw out random things, but if it's not going to truly mm-hmm. benefit people. Then like, what are we, we actually doing? Right. So yep. yeah, I'm just super excited for it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, thank you. I'm excited for you. And I, I really appreciate you coming on here and just really telling your story. I think it's beautiful when people can express how they've really gone through their journey thus far and you have so much left to do and I'm really excited to watch it so thank you so much for coming on here today thank you so much for having me it's been amazing I honestly am so grateful so thank you Oh, no worries. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in to Lattes with Lindsay. Just a friendly reminder, I do have the Christmas giveaway that will be announced December 22nd. You can nominate yourself or you can nominate someone you feel who deserves a free massage this Christmas. And yeah, so good luck to you. Mm -hmm.